when children play in the early years of their lives they are developing competences skills habits and attitudes that become the foundation for their schooling and adult life play is therefore so important for the development of a child that it has been identified by the united nations as the right of every child. For example, the skills required to properly develop self-discipline, motivation, and the ability to work well with others all start to form in the first six years of a child's life. Through play, children learn how to cope with frustration how to keep trying until they get things right. How to share with others. And how to express themselves. Through play, the foundations for language, reading, writing, and maths are also built ensuring that children are ready for school. How can we define what a natural playground is? A natural playground is different from a traditional playground as it has many features that are natural compared to a traditional playground. Research tells us that natural playgrounds stimulate the creativity and imagination of children much better than traditional playgrounds and yet they can be cheaper to build. Natural playgrounds have features such as plants, flowers, gardens, trees, rocks, different levels of the ground, opening and gaps to go over, under and go through. Natural playgrounds also have loose materials such as seeds, sand, stones, sticks, leaves, mud, and water. They can also make use of other loose materials that are locally available, including recycled materials like car tires and other loose parts like digging tools, buckets, containers, boxes, crates, and kitchen utensils. Who is it for? The Natural Playgrounds Toolkit was designed primarily for you as a pre-primary school teacher or early childhood development practitioner. How is it to be used? This toolkit is meant to be a guide for a facilitator and participants who have come together to build a natural playground for young children. In the toolkit, you will find a number of tools that will help you consider everything necessary to make a success of your project by working together with parents and your local community members. You may or may not use all the tools in the toolkit. That is entirely up to you. How was this toolkit developed? With support from Roger Federer Foundation, Penridge, an NGO that operates in Pumalanga province in South Africa, worked with local communities and schools in their province to experiment and develop ways of developing natural playgrounds 
in schools and early childhood development centers. Through this practical experience and lessons learned during this trial and learning, this natural playground manual was then developed.